Strand Ballroom was where uh, people danced. It was a, a dance hall on Broad Street near Bainbridge, uh, around there, Fitzwater, around that area. And uh, uh, I had, uh, 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 my band used to gig in there sometimes, you know, and other, the O.V. Catta Elks, too. I, I did something there that I have a poster with, with uh, Clifford Brown playing the trumpet, you know. And uh, things like that, well, were all around in Philadelphia. A lot of clubs and a lot of places where people dance. The Reynolds Hall, the Mercantile Hall, and other places like that. So if you got a gig like that, you had to play danceable music. As far as the arrangers are concerned who were doing that, was like I was saying, Leroy Lovett, and uh, Johnny A.C., and uh, it was another bass player, Kirk somebody. Uh, and he had a brother that played bass later on. And, and he was a big band writer for, for Jimmy Gorm and some of those bands that were around. There were dance bands, a lot of them around Philly. Calvin Todd was the first one I played with. And then Mel Melvin. And we went down south on a tour and all that kind of stuff. We uh, were just uh, anxious to get on the road and be recognized and play dance music. That's what was happening, swing. So then, uh, then you know, eventually the bebop generation, but, but I was raised up in the swing era.